Peace. This is a meat and potatoes sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is demonosophy, packs, and blood. Now, what is demonosophy? Well, the definition of that is basically that you are working in concert or side by side with demons as opposed to genuflecting and serving their interests and getting very little out of it. Basically, you're worshiping and that's done in right hand path thinking as well as Abrahamic religion. So demonosophy takes a different approach, one that I highly salute and agree with. Now let's talk about packs. I will say this for most people that are tempted to get involved in packs, I highly recommend that you have at least a minimum of maybe two to three years magical practice and you're working with your energy work as well as developing your clairs like clear audience, etc. And when you make a pack, let mentor give you this. If you want to do a pack and make sure they're successful, don't ask for something out of the realm of possibility. We have seen how this can go left in the case of what Daniel Hussein did to those sisters in the United Kingdom a few years ago where he asked for a girlfriend and to hit the mega millions. And he was supposed to be making a pact with Lucifer Rofakal. You have to ask for something that's realistic. Now, I get this question a lot. I believe I answered it, but for newer subscribers, I will reiterate it. This is how you know. First, you make a pact. You make sure you ask for something that's reasonable, but you also make sure that you are giving what you said that you're going to give. Keeping your word is very important when you're dealing with any spirit, but especially with demons slash demons. So that's very important. Now, how will you know that they agree to it? Let's say you haven't developed your clears. You can use a pendulum and it will give you either a yes or no answer. That's one. Another one is you can ask or volunteer partial possession and you can go into automatic writing and that's when a spirit jumps into your body and you will be able to write a particular script or language that you're unfamiliar with we've seen this in the case with also crowley's first wife rose who did automatic writing so that's another one but the thing that i used you can close your eyes visualize the contract that you wrote out the sigil of the spirit and then you ask the spirit if they agree to the terms, would they write their script or name on the contract? Now, that's one that can work for someone that's kind of on their way to being skilled. But the one that the Kobe Bryant of Magic uses that never fails is this. You can, a demon can let you know that they agree to the terms. Like Prince Orbis did this for me. He agreed to it, but he one-upped it. When we had made the contract, which was early this year, June the 9th, 2023, excuse me. He had did something a day or two later that I asked for. That's how I know. That's not only my signature. This means that I am in concert with what was written in the contract. So you definitely could use that and you cannot go wrong. Now let's talk about blood. Let me say this. You don't give your blood haphazardly to a whole lot of spirits. You don't do that. Is there some influence? Yes. But people have this approach where you just got to like stab yourself or slit your wrist. You don't have to do all that. That's what I tell people. Stop watching all this Hollywood stuff. It's going to corrupt your brain. You can just prick your finger if you want to. You don't have to do it. And here's, I want to make this clear. Here's how you know that something's not for you. If your higher self or holy guardian angel doesn't want to do it, you don't have to do it. You don't have to get involved in making a blood offering if you're not comfortable with it. Just because other occultists are doing it, what does that have to do with you? So you don't have to do that. There is a book out. Blood Magic by Sorceress Cagliostro. That's on Amazon. She has volumes one and two. Two is a little bit more hard to procure, but volume one is easy. It's accessible, so you get that. 
So you don't have to give blood to any spirit that you don't have to. Another thing, don't treat every spirit the same way as you would a God. You don't have, don't dare, I'm going to say this, don't you dare make a blood offering to the Egyptian, Roman, or Greek pantheon. That will be deemed offensive. Don't do it. That will work. Like if you're dealing with a blood offering or an animal sacrifice with the Loa or Ifa, or you're dealing with demons from the Ars Goetia. So it's very important. Just don't, don't treat everything like, okay, you know, everything is like Target or Walmart across the board, no matter where, what city you go to. No, don't, no, no, please don't do that. Don't do that at all. So I just wanted to make them those points about that. And that's how you can go into it. And your pack should be safe and effective. You don't have to offer blood if you don't have to. And we know about demonosophy. You and the demons work together as one. And then this will not only improve your magic, but it will fortify your relationship across the board. So with that, that is your meat and potatoes sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.